Okay, so right here I am getting out Ivy's mats with a shaver. I'm going to basically pull them, not too hard, but I'm going to shave off the very end of them. Be careful to not get too much into her coat. Um, so I'm going to go through her back and get every mat that I see. Um, like I said, being very careful not to actually shave into her coat. So I'm going to repeat this step and just make sure I get every little tiny mat that she has on from being outside. So I'm going to move on to her ears now. Um, Long-coated breeds like Border Collies and Australian Shepherds, oftentimes when they itch, they will tangle the hairs behind their ears, so I always make sure to get those. You want to not leave mats on for too long as it causes skin irritation and can make them itch harder. Um, so I'm also going to move over to her tail now. And uh, as you can see, Ivy's a very good dog when it comes to grooming because I've been doing this for 10 years with her. She's a good girl. So Ivy's the kind of dog that just loves to be groomed, <laughs> so I have to flip her over and move her and she will just basically play dead and let me do whatever I want with her. Um, it's really important to do this when your dogs are young so that it isn't a fight and it's an actual enjoyable experience for your dog. Moving on to her feet, um, also long-coated dogs like Border Collies and Australian Shepherds, they grow hair um, through their pads and I always like to trim this up and make it look real clean. Um, it also helps prevent them from tracking dirt in the house and jumping on your bed with dirty paws. So again, I'm just going to move her around and <clears throat> I'm going to get each paw and if I feel any other mats like around her neck area, I'll go ahead and get those too. So I do a nice all over um, feel for her entire body and make sure I get everything. Um, I do like doing this on the floor just so that I'm comfortable and she's comfortable and um, make sure I get every spot.
So I'm all finished with her feet now. As you can see, they're nice and cleaned up. They don't have that Grinch look to them. And she just loves it. She's such a good girl. I am encouraging her here. And as you can see, she just wants to get up. <laughs> what are we doing next? So now I'm going to cut her nails with this nail cutter it has a safety guard on it as you can see it just helps um, to make sure you don't cut the quick um, again it's really important to do this when your dogs are young because then they don't flinch and you don't accidentally cut them um, sometimes it happens it happens to me they do sell what's called quick stop powder um, and you can always put that on um, but I try my best not to do that because it does cause pain and we don't want um, our grooming experience to cause any pain whatsoever so I'm gonna go ahead and keep flipping her around and um, keep cutting all her nails Okay, so next I'm going to use the Furminator um, just to kind of go over and make sure I didn't miss any mats. Um, this tool should be used gently, it does have a little press, um, although with long brood dogs it really doesn't matter, you can just pull the hair right off. Um, Ivy loves to be brushed, she loves to be groomed, <laughs> she can just lay here all day. Um, so I go over her back really well and just make sure I get any loose tangles. Um, I don't really like to go over mats with this tool because it would hurt. Um, so this is kind of just like a little finishing touch. And as you can see, this really helps make the coat really shiny. Um, I will go over her tail a couple times. Um, then I switch over to this kind of finishing brush. Um, with this brush, it's just a little bit easier because um, the tail is a sensitive area um, to really get through any of the leftover tangles. Um, the Furminator really pulls hair out and Border Collie's hair on their tail is quite long it's not really meant for a furminator so this is what i use as a finishing brush and i kind of just go over everything and you can see she is just as happy as pie <laughs> So now I'm going to use the Furminator de-shedding spray. Um, honestly, I can't tell you if it works or not, but it does smell good um, and definitely gives the coat a nice shine. Um, so I just kind of spray this all over and then I will go back and kind of use my fingers, to just kind of move it all around. And then I will go back and <laughs> she's such a good girl. So yeah, just continue spraying around. Um, it really just helps loosen everything up and uh, smells good too, so you can't go wrong. <laughs> I'll then just kind of brush it through again. It really helps the coat shine. As you can see, she looks amazing already. Ivy loves her chest to be brushed. Um, I know it's a bad angle. I wish I had positioned the camera a little bit farther away. I was kind of trying to move her around so you guys can see. She puts her head all the way back like, yes, this is the best. This feels so good. So as you can see, I'm looking at the camera like, oh, she's so cute. Um, but she really does love her chest being brushed out. Um, and it was much, much needed. Uh, she had... <laughs> had a bath in quite a long time so I'm trying to 
get you guys to see it, but it just wasn't far enough of an angle. But anyway, I'm going to do another repeat here with the shedding spray and kind of just work it all in and use the Ferminator. I will use the Ferminator here for sure because Ivy drools a lot and her hair gets tangled. Um, Border Collies don't generally drool. Ivy just is one of those rare cases where she drools and it gets all over her chest. So I make sure to go over her chest very well. Also, it's such pretty white. So we're going to take a second here and just stop to have some cuddles because why not? <laughs> Again, it's why it's so important to do this with your dog. She just loves his attention and uh, we have such a good time together. Um, but we do have to get back to work. So I'm going to now start on her ears. <laughs> I got her paws up in the air. She's such a good girl. This is my grooming bag and it's where I keep everything. So now I'm going to use some ear wash, ear cleaner. I believe I got this on Chewy a while back. Um, so let's start in her ears. So starting on her ears, I didn't have any cotton swabs, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rip some paper towels up. Um, they are abrasive, so I'm not gonna go um, too hard on her ears, mainly for just the outside of her ears. So I just rip up a few and then I will start cleaning her ears. With a little bit of solution, I will just rub the outside, or I should say inside, but not in the ear canal. I will rub the outside because she did kind of have a lot of dirt um, from being outside. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. Um, so I just clean that very well. So now I will use some Q-tips. Um, I never put the Q-tip all the way in their ear canal. I just clean what I can see. Um, you never want to put the Q-tip down the ear canal. It could cause damage, um, but the Q-tip does help get um, the dirt that you can see. So um, Ivy's ears are pretty dirty. Um, you can see they're very black on the ends. So we're gonna clean up her ears really nice. So this is somewhat time consuming, um, especially when their ears are pretty dirty, like Ivy's was. Um, so just take your time. Uh, it's, again, I can't stress enough that when your dog is calm and used to this, it's much, much better. Okay, so I have some spray here that's called Beautifer. It's one of my favorites. Um, I used to work at a grooming facility and it really it just smells really good and lasts a long time. So I add some of that and then again, just a quick brush through. Um, I do have a brand new collar for her with a new tag and a little cute flower to put on her when we were all done here and also a very cute bandana. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her new collar on. It's pretty cute. It's got a um, little bit of uh, watermelons on it. <laughs> so it's very, very cute. Um, I did have to readjust the collar, make sure it's not too tight. You can see she is just like, yes, I'm all clean. New collar, yes, mom, thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm gonna struggle here for a second with her because she knows we're all finished. It's our finishing touch. Again, I've been grouping Ivy for 10 years, so she knows what is happening. Um, so you can see cute little flower with a brand new collar and a tag. And then I have a bandana that says insert treat here. Um, she definitely deserves 
tons of treats. She was a rock star in today's grooming. Um, I couldn't be more pleased. So, um, and also the bandana matches the little bow or excuse me, the flower on her collar. So she is all done and all ready to show off her good looks. Um, she was looking pretty raggedy for a while and I don't like that. I always enjoy grooming and um, I love just spending time with my dogs in this manner. I did check her teeth here. She does need a good teeth cleaning, but that's for another video. So she is all finished and you can see how much better she looks. And she's such a good girl. So I'm very pleased with how it came out. She had a ton of mats. Such a pretty collie. all right pack fam thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button we will be back soon with tons of more content ivy's enjoying her new looks outside since we filmed this video at night so please come back we love you guys thank you so much for watching